Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, who today decided not to appear before the Enforcement Directorate in the Delhi Liquor Gate probe. Instead, the Delhi Chief Minister flew down to Singroli in Madhya Pradesh, where he campaigned for the Aam Aadmi Party and then dared the Narendra Modi government to arrest him. What happens next? Take a look. Arvind Kejriwal was to appear before the Enforcement Directorate for questioning in the liquor policy scam on Thursday. Instead, the Delhi Chief Minister flew down to Singroli in Madhya Pradesh, where he campaigned for the Aam Aadmi Party and dared the Narendra Modi government to arrest him. The Delhi Chief Minister earlier shot off a letter to the ED demanding the summons be recalled. Calling the summons illegal, he claimed it was issued at the behest of the BJP. Kejriwal also sought to know in what capacity was he being summoned. Mukhya Mantri ji ne ED ko patr leke bataya hai aur kuch baatein bahut zaruri unhone rekhankit ki hain. ED ke samman mein ye kahi saaf nahi ho raha ki wo Arvind Kejriwal ji ko kis haisiyat mein bula rahe hain. Sandil ki haisiyat se bula rahe hain. Gawah ki haisiyat se bula rahe hain. ये जानबूझ के इसको साफ नहीं किया जा रहा वो साफ करेंगे आप जो जानना चाहते हैं कि किस हैसियत से आपको बुलाया गया है एज द ओशन ऑफ करप्शन एज द सोर्स ऑफ करप्शन फ्रॉम वेयर करप्शन इमरजेंस इन दिल्ली जहां से करप्शन जन्म लेती है उस सोर्स के रूप में आपको बुलाया गया है एज दैट सागर while opposition leaders rallied behind Kejriwal, many Congress leaders struck a different note. ये जो आज का उनका ना जाना है, ये चोर की दाढ़ी में तिनका है। आपने ये पहले कहा था कि मंदिर हो, सड़कें हो, गलियां हो, कॉलेज हो, लेडीज हम वहाँ शराब नहीं बिकने देंगे। Then all of a sudden you bought a policy. वो policy करीब करीब ढाई तीन महीने रही नई शराब policy जो थी, वो गली गली में आपने शराब privatize कर दी। पहले सरकारी थी, ठीक है? अब उसके जो फिगर्स हैं, they are astounding. The enforcement directorate is turning up the heat on up. It is set to issue fresh summons to the Delhi Chief Minister in liquor gate scam. Who wins this acrimonious face-off between the BJP and AAP may well be decided in the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Bureau report, India Today. So let's ask the big questions once again. Is Arvind Kejriwal simply daring the enforcement directorate now to arrest him? Has offence become the best defence for Kejriwal? Is the Modi government gunning for Kejriwal? Can Kejriwal really escape scrutiny in liquor gate? And is, is his political career effectively on the line? Yogendra Yadav, co-founder Swaraj India and one of the original founders of Aam Aadmi Party joins us. Sanju Varma is BJP spokesperson and Priyanka Kakkar is AAP spokesperson. I want to come first to Priyanka Kakkar because the AAP has to explain. Mr. Kejriwal is served a summons, says I can't attend your, uh, I, I reject your summons, it's spurious, it's unacceptable and goes off to campaign. If he has nothing to hide, why not appear before the ED? Good evening Rajdeep Ji, good evening to all your viewers. Rajdeep Ji, this reminds me of an incident in 2002. Uh, there was an SIT established in around 2012. Supreme Court monitored to investigate the 2002 riots and a summon was issued to PM Modi and he skipped those summons. But that does not mean he was guilty. Uh, this summons that was received by us suffered from several legal infirmities, was illegal therefore. Let the ED correct or rather the BJP office correct the summons and our schedule was already, this was lined up. The campaign was, campaign was lined up. We are contesting in four states. So you are saying if the ED summons uh, Arvind Kejriwal next week, he will appear before it? No, no, one minute. What is the specific legal infirmity, firstly? What is that legal infirmity? The, 
there are several. Uh, one is that it is not clear in which capacity the Chief Minister of Delhi has been summoned, whether it is the capacity as the CM or as in the capacity of the national convener of a national party. It is not the date or uh, time was not clear. There was another infirmity about, um, uh, it skips my mind, it will come to me. There was a third one. Uh, be that as it may, uh, since you asked me if we are scared, there is nothing to fear. We are a party who has constantly been struggling and embroiled in several false cases and have come, uh, come out clean in all of them. Unfortunately, this time, the, the BJP has used a provision under the PMLA which was struck down in 2017 by the Supreme Court as unconstitutional. Under this provision, a person is required to satisfy the judge, uh, which, which means that uh, the entire witnesses, the, all the documents must be examined at the stage of the bail itself. The second infirmity in this provision was that the person who is accused of a crime must prove himself to be innocent. So the onus is shifted on the accused and not the prosecution uh, in, like, like, like in a country. The law is Ma'am, these uh, are all these, are, these infirmities are already no, no, one minute. Specific Ma'am, these infirmities are being debated in a review of the PMLA Act. Let's be very clear whether the Act has put the onus on the accused to prove his innocence. These, this is being a subject of a review, but I am coming into specifics. Sanju Varma, the specifics. No, 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 no one minute. Please, we, can I, I, please, I, can I please let, no, can no, I one please minute, that. One minute. I, I let's be very clear, Sanju Varma. Sure. The Amarbi party says they have nothing to fear. Presumably, therefore, Mr. Kejriwal will appear, according to Priyanka Kakkar. She can correct me if I'm wrong. If these so-called infirmities are corrected, he will appear next week. How do you respond to this? There is a sense that. The Ar Arvind Kejriwal has decided attack is the best form of defense. He's daring the Prime Minister to arrest him. That is... Uh, May I please, please now, now Rajdeep, I did not handle this team, woman. Team will no, no, no. Let, let's not use word like this woman. She has a name. I Her name is Priyanka. Your you name won't. is Sanju. Let's be respectful of people. But go ahead, Sanju Varma. You know, Rajdeep, first and foremost, let me be very clear with you. Stop being patronizing. I'm not being you know, patronizing. I'm, yes, I'm, I, I am being polite and I expect my guests to be polite. Please go ahead. Please don't give me a bhashan on politeness because when Mahua Maitra called Nishikan Dube a Jharkhandi pitbull, aapke mo mein feri ko lag gaya tha Rajdeep. Not at all. Yaha bet kar, naitik ta par bhashan mat do mujhe Rajdeep okay. Sardesai. Please go ahead. Now let me come to the topic. Yes. You know, stop giving a lecture to the BJP and I don't need your certificate. That, you know, there are some people who are ill-mannered, who do to to mane. Can you come to my answer? I have limited time. Please come to the answer, please. I am coming to the specifics. Don't heckle me. Thank you. The specifics are these. And let nobody be under any illusion that Arvind Kejriwal has seen for himself that after giving a clean chip to Manish Sisodia, saying inko Bharat Ratna milna chahiye, ye to Bhagat Singh ka avtar hai, what happened? The Supreme Court, Rajdeep, I'm not talking about the Delhi Rouse Avenue Court, I'm not talking of the Delhi High Court, I'm not talking of the CBI Special Court. I'm sure you and me can agree on one thing, that the Supreme Court's bona fides cannot be questioned. And what did the Supreme Court say? It said three very important things before denying bail to Manish Sisodia for the seventh time. The Supreme Court said, tentatively, a money trail of 338 crores has been established. What did they say the You know, the case will fall flat because money trail ka to pata hi nahi hai. Malified intent ka to pata hi nahi hai. Proceeds of crime kaha gai, ye to pata hi nahi hai. Then the Supreme Court made the second most important observation. It said, that for the 10 months that the excise policy was in vogue, wholesale distributors from the liquor cartel made 581 crores, whereas the Delhi government made only 7,070 crores. So clearly, the fact that the Delhi government made far more than what it was supposed to make by virtue of its own excise policy means that there was a quid pro quo and money was recycled Your third point. from wholesale distributors. I'm coming to the point why you're so rattled. I'm coming to my third point. So the Supreme Court clearly said that money was recycled from wholesale distributors to the likes of Beat Amanish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh, maybe Kejriwal. 
a lot of other people in aam aadmi party like vijay nair what have you and the third most important point which the supreme court said the third most important point which the supreme court said was that prime of society there is not just evidence but substantial evidence the word used was substantial evidence to ensure that the custodial interrogation of manish sisodia should continue for a longer and extended period of time okay. because because the fact remains that dinesh arora accused number 9 who subsequently turned approver has clearly showcased how there was an exchange of large sums of money between dinesh arora and manish sisodia via three I... people sarvesh okay. mishra you made tyagi and vivek tyagi ma'am you know i you made your point based on what the supreme court has said which is why the are you questioning the supreme court i am not at all i who am i, I am a minion to question the supreme court but i will continue to raise questions you always which i, seem to be on the I, wrong I, side I my job is to raise questions whether it is your of supreme job court is to be on the right side of kindly the yeah your kindly job. kindly put a volume down now because yogendra yadav ji the fact is there are facts some of which have been stated here by sanju verma what the court said there is a perception a perception that several members of mr kejriwal's party which claim to be cutter imandar are now today in jail and have been denied bail how does this play out when a kejriwal then comes today and says i'm arrest me if you can get a better summons and i will appear before you do you believe that that image of mr kejriwal of cutter imandar will take a hit if he continues to confront in a way the enforcement directorate Uh, Rajdeep, it all depends on how the larger game of perception gets played out. Uh, what we have in this particular instance mm -hmm. is uh, there are legal questions about the nature of summon. I am no lawyer; I can't judge it. In any case, to my mind, that's not the moot point. For the purpose of argument, I will assume that the liquor policy, prima facie, involves very serious questions. I will assume. that some people made huge benefits 300 crores or whatever the supreme court has said that so let us take assume that i will also assume that the ed or investigative authorities would like to check with the head of the government the chief minister whether his involvement was there or not assuming all these three things does it justify what the ed is doing and that is the larger question let's not get limited only to the merits of the case let us not judge it only if this was the only case happening right now one would always focus on the merits of the case but rajdi this is happening in a larger context and unless we put that context here we cannot even begin to judge this particular case one the context is gradually upscaling a political you know up going up and finally reaching a political opponent who's been troubling you for long the second context is are there similar cases in which no action has been taken yes indeed madhya pradesh all kinds of cases of corruption have they been investigated yesterday mr yogi inaugurates a bridge which collapses will that be inaugurated in gujarat the collapse took place Uh, two years ago, was that investigated by ED or CBI? Last CBI? year, Morbi. Yes, but the fact Why is, is Mr. Yogendra Yadav, the viewers are always there to investigate the opposition parties all the time. No, no, but Mr. Yogendra Yadav, there are viewers. The no, no, there are viewers who are watching who will say, "Look, corruption is corruption," and if you have put four fingers at people and saying you are guilty till proven innocent, today, Mr. Kejriwal, they will argue is being hoisted by his own pet pet art. This was the narrative of AAP when you all came through uh, to power through India against corruption. We don't care. The viewers will say, if someone is found guilty of corruption we can't engage in what about re what happened in madhya pradesh what happened in up uh rasti uh, i completely agree that anyone who is has faces serious accusation of corruption should be hauled up should be made a fair inquiry must be held mm -hmm. and if mr kejriwal has to answer questions he should answer question and i'm sure not today maybe a week from now 10 days from now he will have to answer of course every citizen of this country must answer questions my question links to what you had asked me initially mm -hmm. how would this play out in the public domain does the public of this country believe that ed is an independent authority which is going after someone merely because of charges of corruption no 
Today, the perception in the public is that there is no difference between election department of the BJP and the enforcement directorate. Both of them are ED. This is the perception. And unfortunately, every single conduct of the ED contributes to this perception. And that's terrible because in the long run, mm -hmm. this erodes the authority of an institution. And I'm very sorry to say that you know, one would have imagined that somewhere judiciary or someone in this country would step in and say, what kind of a joke is going on? You go to Rajasthan just when there is assembly election. You go to Chhattisgarh to the, uh, to the secretary of the chief minister just before the election. And somehow it doesn't happen in Madhya Pradesh. Somehow it would never happen in Uttar Pradesh. It never happens in Gujarat. I mean, can't someone see the pattern in it? Because if there has to be justice in this country, mm -hmm. someone has to look at the pattern. And I'm not at all defending either Manish Sisodia or Arvind Kejriwal or anyone who's accused I, of corruption. I take your point. So I'm, but I'm the not fact arguing is... on the points of the case. No, the, but the fact... from Amadmi Party may take that position. Sure. Yeah. But you see the context, the pattern, the Supreme Court as of now has not stepped in. In fact, the Supreme Court, as Sanju Verma pointed out, has actually said, at least in Manish Sisodia's case, that prima facie there is enough for his custodial interrogation to no, continue. So Priyanka is. Kakkar, you see, what about tree may not work in this case? What happens in a UP, what happens in a Madhya Pradesh, what happens in Gujarat will not work. Y'all claim y'all were Qatar Imandar. I'm even saying that. <coughs> and a Qatar Imandar party has got several of his leaders please, today in jail. Please, give me... Give me two minutes, Rajdeep ji. Firstly, because you agreed with what Sanju Verma ji said, that's quite appalling to me because para 10 and para 12 of the uh, judgment completely demolished what uh, false narration she just gave. The Dinesh Arora approver, it says, difficult to regard the alleged payment. It says money Sisodia by Amit Arora through middleman Dinesh Arora is not a charge and not an allegation filed by the CBI. It's incorrect that you supported her on two mm. misrepresentation of Facts. Secondly, Rajdeep ji, there is also the question why one ED director has been given extension after extension after extension. Three illegal extensions when the Supreme Court categorically said that this influences the independence of the judiciary. Yet the Supreme Court judgment was set yeah, aside, kept aside and an extension had been granted I, three I, times. I take that your also point. is a matter of concern. Okay, yeah, you know, therefore, Sanju Varma, just a minute. I ask you this, and I ask you in all, you know, all honesty, the fact is what Yogendra Yadav said. The truth is that today Rajasthan, going to elections, ED lands up there. And today, in fact, two ED are, uh, officials have been arrested there for bribery. The ED doesn't go to neighboring Madhya Pradesh. The ED won't take on the Vyapam scam, for example. The ED seems to believe that Gujarat pe sab kuch theek hai, there is no yeah, scam of any ho. kind. Question Rajin is this, the ho. ED's integrity and jala independence. Ho. Is that not a Jawaab worry do. for you or not? Jawab do abhi. Bilkul do. Jawab sunne ki himmat hai aapke. Aray, mere paas baut chhati meri baut badi hai, chappan ki hai. Chappan inch ki chhati aapki hai hai, to BJP walo ko mute mat kariye da, aur abhi dhyan se mera jawab sunye hai. Because as you say, yeh public hai, yeh sab jaanti hai. People can see through the charade of biased panelists and biased anchors. And let me tell you this, with no offense to you Rajdeep, I respect you tremendously and you know that. But, I can say this to you. Kya narrative hai ki ED is doing what it is at the behest of the BJP. And just give me a minute. I want to ask now a question uh, to counter what the narrative is, the prevailing narrative. Has Senthil Balaji been given a clean check by the Supreme Court? No. Has Partha Chatterjee of TMC involved in the SSC recruitment scam been given a clean check? No. Has you know, Anubrata Mandal involved in the cattle smuggling scam been given a clean check? No. Has Manish Sisodia been given a bail? No. Has Satender Jain been given a clean check? No. Has Rahul Gandhi out on bail in the national herald scam you're, been given a clean check? No. You're changing please the wait. goalpost. Please wait. You're changing please the finish. goalpost, ma'am. I you ask you, are you saying... To me. You said you will not interrupt me. Let me take 30 seconds more. 30 I'm seconds counting, more. yes. Yes. Now, now, the fact that Rahul is out on bail, Sonia Gandhi is out on bail, P. Chidambaram is out on bail, Karthi Chidambaram is out on bail, Robert Vadra is out on bail, Tejasri Yadav is out on bail, uh, his sister Rohini Acharya is out on bail, Ashok Gehlot's son, Vedhav Gehlot, accused of money laundering, is out on bail. Yes, of the public ko malum hai. But I will just for the sake of your viewers, they should not be misled. Mm -hmm. Just in 20 seconds, 
The date was April 5th, 2023. Abhishek Manu Singhvi told the CJI Chandrachur, Mr. Chandrachur, that the ED is being weaponized. The word used by Mr. Singhvi was yes, the ED has been seconds. weaponized. Yes, and what did Mr. Chandrachur say? 10 seconds, Rajdeep Sardesai. Himmat hai to slow. When you argue, you as in, he said this to Abhishek Manu Singhvi. When you argue that there is a chilling effect and weaponization of the law by the ruling dispensation against opposition parties and opposition political leaders, the answer does not lie in the courts. The answer lies in the political space. And if you feel your space is being crunched, the answer lies in fighting and getting that political space okay. politically and not by the judiciary. Okay, so you made your point. I have heard you. Your time is up. I am not cutting you, but your time is up. Yogendra Yadav, stick to 20 seconds and respond to what you heard from Sanju Varma. You want to fight the ED, fight it politically. It's not going to happen through the judiciary. Uh, Rajdeep, number one, I think Sanjuji misunderstood the nature of the point that was being made. The point was not that Partho Chatterjee is clean or that Malaji is clean. No one knows it. Let's assume all of them are guilty. The point was, is the ED being selective and is it being politically selective? Did the ED go to Karnataka? No. Did it go to Gujarat? No. Did it go to Madhya Pradesh? No. Does it go to UP? No. Does it ar arrest BJP political leaders? No. That is what the country wants to know. Okay. And as she correctly points out, ye public hai, sab jaanti hai. And that is what the public of this country is looking at. So yes, please punish every single guilty person. But please do it uniformly across the political spectrum. Otherwise, you are degrading the institution of ED. Otherwise, you are degrading the quality of democracy in this country. On that sobering note, I leave it there. I leave it to the public. Ye public hai, ye sab jaanti hai. Andar kya hai, bahar kya hai, sab kuch hai. Enforcement Directorate or Election Department, you decide.